tool axis smoothing of multi-axis toolpaths has undergone a major improvement for the release of PowerMill 2010. PowerMill now has the ability to smooth the azimuth and elevation axes independently of each other and each of those axes can use one of several smoothing options. One of these options includes the new stepped stabilization smoothing. This type of smoothing will stabilize or lock any rotary axis movement. The tool axis deviates within a specified angular range. The toolpath will appear as a series of 3 plus 2 axis segments with 5 axis transitions between the angular range. These transitions can either be completed on the surface using a smoothing distance or using a skim link. Let's open a project and have a look at the effect of the different smoothing options on an example. Here we have an example of a car body panel. It's actually a door rear door panel and we're using 5 axis trimming to trim the outside edge of the panel. So let's take a look at the first toolpath. If we open the settings for the toolpath, you can see we've used profile finishing and we're machining the outside edge of the part with the tool offset actually by 5 millimeters below the edge and we're using a lead and lean approach so 0, 0, so the normal to the edge and for the first toolpath we have not used any smoothing at all the smoothing is switched off all we've used is the tool axis limits option to make sure the tool does not go past the 45 degree angle on the elevation now we're going to switch on the machine tool simulation and view the actual machine motion cutting this profile so we attach the tool to the start of the toolpath and then just reduce our simulation speed so we can clearly see what's happening and then we'll play the simulation so you can see because the tool axis has been set to lead lead and lean zero the tool is always staying perpendicular to the edge by forcing the tool to stay perpendicular to the edge we have introduced unnecessary and excessive rotary axis movement in this example it is not important for the tool to always stay perpendicular to the edge as long as the actual contact point is maintained. In the next tool path we have smoothed out the tool axis to try and reduce the amount of excessive rotary axis movements on the machine. If we take a look at the tool axis settings for this tool path then you can see the smoothing tab is now activated and we have smoothed both the elevation and the azimuth with a maximum smoothing angle of 45 degrees and a smoothing distance over 30 millimeters. This time if we simulate the toolpath We can see that there is far less sudden rotary axis change back and forth on the machine and it's a generally smoother toolpath all the way around the profile. In the last toolpath we're going to look at, we've actually used the new stepped stabilization smoothing. If we go to the smoothing tab we can see we've chosen the stepped on surface option which means that any transitions between the steps will be achieved on surface taking into consideration the smoothing distance. We've used a maximum angular correction of 80 degrees 
and this means that any tool axis deviation within that angle will be locked to a single tool axis. So we're going to simulate from the start and this time we're going to switch on our coordinate readout and if we start the simulation the complete machining of this first edge the B and the C axis is locked so it's stabilized and only when we get to the corner when we need to navigate around the corner we have a five axis transition until the corner is finished and then we go back to the stabilized B and C axis for the second edge until we navigate round. Now the wheel arch because there's a large variation in tall axis around this region then we have a five axis segment of machining followed by further three plus two axis or stabilized B and C axis and then the final edge is also a fixed axis. So a toolpath containing stepped stabilization smoothing will resemble a series of 3 plus 2 axis segments with 5 axis transitions between those segments.